अगर मिल भी जाए तो क्या है ये दुनिया अगर मिल भी जाए तो क्या है Piyasa is a timeless classic released in the year 1957 the film by Gurudatt will remain relevant because of its theme which talks about the exploitation of art and artist the film focuses on vijay who unlike his name has only experienced failure he is a poet by heart and a destitute by pocket society refuses to acknowledge and appreciate him and his fascination with his art refused by his college sweetheart meena the hopeful lover boy turned into a hapless heartbroken man only to be accepted by another outcast woman kolabo despite being set up on the narrative of devdas the central idea of the film is revolved around one's immense admiration for the art creative exploitation is a term that is referred to explaining the harsh and troublesome conditions artists have to go through including pay disparity gender stereotypes constant neglect refusal of bold and challenging ideas zero time management and the list is endless piasa is an artistic film each frame hides a deeper meaning today in this lesson we are going to understand the film making behind the transformative scene in which vijay learns about the success of his poems and his sudden prestige post his fictitious death news but first let's have a look at the scene parchhaiya uphati hai main phool taak raha hu tumhare joode mein tumhari aankh masadat se chhupti jati hai na jaane aaj main kya baat kehne wala hu zuban khushk hai awaaz rukti jati hai ख्याल उकाब की परछाइयाँ उभरती हैं मेरे गले में तुम्हारी गुदास बाहें हैं तुम्हारे होंठों पे मेरे लबों के साए हैं तुम्हें यकीन कि हम अब कभी न बिछड़ेंगे मुझे गुमान कि हम मिल के भी पर आए हैं ख्याल उकाब की परछाइयाँ उभरती हैं डॉक्टर मेरी नजरे सब के सब मेरी नजरे ये मेरी किताब है जी हाँ जी हाँ आप ही की किताब है लेकिन आपका नाम क्या है मेरा नाम मैं विजय हूँ ये देखिए ये किताब मेरी लिखी हुई है अजी साहब जिस विजय ने ये किताब लिखी है वो न जाने कब का मर चुका है अच्छी तरह से याद कीजिए क्या नाम है आपका आप लोग मुझ पर यकीन क्यों नहीं करते मैं विजय हूं मैंने आपसे कहा ना मैं विजय हूं मुझे यहां कहा रख छोड़ा चले दो मुझे चले दो डॉक्टर मेरा ख्याल है बेचारे का दिमाग कुछ डॉक्टर सेन को फोन टेलीफोन कर दो The scene begins at the hospital with a mid shot of a nurse reading a poem from a book to a patient. The bright light on the text indicates the significance of the book. Shot with a shallow focus makes for a perfect beginning of a sequence. Camera moves from a mid shot of the book towards the patient Vijay through a push in where it momentarily stables a close up of his face. We see him getting up from his sleep. The sequence cuts to a wide shot frame of him and the nurse together. Vijay is shocked to find his poems printed in a book. He checks the book. Meanwhile, the camera pushes into a shallow foreground close-up. The camera, along with the nurse, shifts from one direction to another. The sequence is shot from the window. Observe the cinematography, which gives the nurse a shadowy effect. The outlines of the window give an impression of a jail-like condition. 
The following sequence drops a hint of Vijay being in a danger. The camera from a three-shot framing pushes into a two-shot framing where Vijay and the doctor in indulge in a confused and terrifying conversation. The difference in their opinions is shown by using the line of the window. His face is hidden as he tries to convince the doctor about his identity. The moment his anger rises, his face is fully covered by the line of the window. In the next sequence, with the increase in people, the difference is highlighted. Vijay is the isolated one, who is wearing white and the rest are color-coordinated. He is placed in between the doctors and nurses. The blocks escalate the suffocating situation Vijay is landed in. The camera pulls out and we see how Vijay is trapped inside the hospital. The chances of him proving himself or escaping the hospital are nowhere close. The sequence cuts to a shot where we observe the hospital staff together in a tight frame. The camera moves in from a four shot to a two shot. The doctor discusses Vijay's mentally ill condition. The scene ends using a film dissolving transition. Guru Dutt was a genius. He might not have understood the business aspect of his movie making, but he did understand how to capture the attention of the audience. He was a far-sighted man. Just like Vijay, Guru Dutt too had to face struggles with his love for filmmaking. And just like Vijay, his artistic approach was truly recognized post his demise. In Times Magazine 2005 issue, Piasa was summed up as one of the best films to be made.